In this video, we're going to be covering a lot of different creative ways that you can make a lot of money on Etsy. Now, let's get started. Number one. Are you ready? Vintage items. Check this out. This is metallic. Huge. Old and vintage. People love vintage stuff on Etsy. See? Metal. Nice item. And it's one of a kind. You can't find this anywhere else. And it's only available on my site. On Etsy. So this is one idea for you to make money on Etsy. Find vintage items that are unique and different. Let me show you other things. Next thing. Vintage tools. Check this out. Look how old and vintage this item is. The more old it is, the more vintage it is, the more somebody would really want to get their hands on it and pay a lot of money. Something like this could go for 50, maybe even more money. Nobody knows because it's vintage, it's old. And people like to collect old and vintage stuff. Next thing, old, vintage, unique, different, maybe even antique, who knows. Here is something I got from Egypt. Now, this item is made in a souvenir shop, but here is how you sell it on Etsy. You either sell it as a vintage item, like old, maybe from the 1990s or before that, or you customize it yourself. You carve a little bit, you color it up, uh, you do something fancy on it to make it look a little different than the usual vintage item on Etsy. Next thing is, check this out. Uh, this is usually made out of clay. So if you know how to make uh, one of those by yourself, that's going to be great. This is a vase. So if you make one yourself and you can create it, that's awesome. If you can't, you can buy them that are pre-made in some gift shops and you can just call them up and make them fancy, nice looking pattern and sell it. For people who like to buy uh, imitation uh, souvenirs like this on Etsy and even if you can handmade and make it look like fancy and interesting, this is actually a real I item here, uh, but, but it was made in a souvenir shop from the 1980s, so it is classified as vintage, so you can sell this uh, on Etsy as a vintage item. Next thing, handmade iPhone cover. What makes it so awesome is that how it looks. It's handmade. Uh, it's just unique and it's different. If you want to cover up something that's yours and something as unique and different as an iPhone, you want to have your own interesting looking cover to it and this is awesome. So if you can create something like this or you can get your hands on a bunch of them, you can sell it for a lot of money on Etsy. People like uh, individualized items on Etsy that are different, handmade, you can't get them anywhere else. So this is one of them. Here is another thing you can sell on Etsy. This is a frog. Now, how do you make money selling some frog like this on Etsy? Well, the thing about selling something like this is you just draw uh, different kind of patterns on it or you paint it, you make it look unique and different and people will buy it. It's, uh, it's all about description and making it different and unique. So if you can find a way to how to do it, that's how you make money on Etsy. Let me show you more of them. Clay statues and figurines. Here is one. And this one was handmade. And what you do is you kind of create something like this. And then you put it in the oven with hogs and up. And then you go and color and make your own design for it. And it takes you a while to create those. You can create a bunch of them. This is like an alien looking face. It's pretty unique. It's different. You don't see this around. In fact, this is one of a kind kind of item. You're not going to find this anywhere else but in my Etsy store. So if you create stuff like that, somebody might buy it. 
and I price it pretty high so uh, it's gonna take a while before somebody will buy this particular alien figure. Here's another item that you can sell on Etsy, make a good amount of money and you can create your own as well. This is a boat house and this is a handmade one as you can see uh, it looks really cute and everything so if you have a favorite board outside and you want to give it uh, its own house you can create it or you can buy them in some art stores you can actually buy stuff like this and they are not cold they are not finished and you have to color them up make a fancy design on it finish it up and everybody be like wow this thing is amazing I want to get one uh, for my balls day or for some special event so that's how those things do sell it takes a while but they do sell especially if you have a niche for a certain item and you have a lot of it uh, that's the best way for you to make money on Etsy let me get you signs that's a very nice item to sell on Etsy some people have a talent to create their own signs and if you have a talent to do that and you can just kind of like write your own uh, sign on it with a very interesting message you can create a bunch of those things and sell them for a decent amount of money on Etsy and it all depends on the size and the message and it definitely get a lot of people buying them now this is something that you could easily make and sell and make money now I did buy this in a in a store in an art store but you know what it is it's hay it's a very small piece of miniature hay you can easily go to a field that's full of hay and create a lot of those very miniature size uh, pieces and if you have like a lot of them you can sell them because people buy them for like if they have a collection of trains or um, miniature houses or even Legos people really like to buy them and this is selling for around 10 bucks a piece so you can kind of create a bunch of them you can just find them uh, for free actually in a in a hay field or something and, and just get a little bit of hay and just create it if you have no access to a hay field which a lot of people don't you can just go to an arts store buy and get a huge uh, pack of that and then break it into small pieces and make it fancy looking like check it out it's a little fancy looking like that and then sell it on Etsy as handmade Statue of Liberty check this out this is a Lego uh, minifigure and there was a base to it in fact once I saw those one of those for like 70 bucks can you believe somebody actually paid for that custom made Legos what I mean by custom it's your own design you came up with a design you created it and people really like it so they buy it as a birthday gift they buy it uh, maybe they want to put this on the table for some decoration reason I don't know what exactly they do with it but they do like uh, the idea that somebody created a custom design and some of my designs are very fancy you have to check it out on my site of course and here is another custom made robot as you can see uh, it's a very small miniature Lego robot and you can't get it anywhere else because the way I created it it's a uh, one of a kind and people do buy them they don't buy a lot of them but uh, every month or two I'll get three or four sales of those uh, miniaturized robots because people like to battle them out or like um, they like to play with them during lunch break I don't know what they do with them but they do sell pretty good on Etsy a lot better than on eBay itself because they're custom and they're kind of cute looking there's a bunch of those on my site too now here's another thing you can do and you can sell and make a good money um, it's a hacky sack but if you create your own like you could stitch it up and stuff and make like nice patterns um, make it look a little different this one has no uh, pattern it's like vintage looking somebody might actually want, want to buy this because it's like unique and different but you you can get um, and, and create them pretty easily so if you find some something squishy and you, you take some pattern and then sew it together and make a fancy looking one try to sell them that's another great idea for you 
Another thing that you can do and make pretty good money on Etsy is create your own custom perfume or cologne line. And it's kind of a little bit difficult to do this, but you can research how to do this online. And then when you do it, you create it, and then if it has a very unique or interesting smell, you can make a pretty decent money. I actually sell those particular items for around almost 30 bucks a piece. Uh, I actually did came down to, to, to the price of 2022 at, at this point because they were not selling as good, uh, being a lot higher marked up. And this is actually something my ex girlfriend created, and I have like a bunch of those, and they do sell on Etsy. People uh, like them because they're different, they're unique, and they're pheromones. What it is, it's a it's a dating potion, and you put this on yourself. And then what it does, it attracts, this is actually created for a woman, not for a man. And what it does, it attracts other guys to you when you are putting it on your skin. So this is not a male version. She created it, that's why it's not a male version. Uh, what she did, she found some pheromones and then she put some very interesting scents in, into them to make it smell like amazing. So when you put it on yourself, it's supposed to attract and it seems to be working because a few of them did, did sell on Etsy. So this is another thing that you can do. Now, you can sell vintage cool items on Etsy. And here is a troll doll from the 1990s or 80s. And those do sell on Etsy. They are vintage. And vintage is the key. It's either handmade or vintage. And this is a vintage item that does sell on Etsy. There's a lot of people who collect those and they really like the way uh, they look. They're like crazy, funky, hairdo. That's what they, uh, the best selling point uh, out of those used to be in the, in the 1990s. Next thing, handmade item. Check this out. Now, this is actually something that I do sell on Etsy. And a lot of those things I'm showing you, I do sell them, some of them on Etsy. And this is made out of tin foil. I have a bunch of those on Etsy. I so far haven't had any sales, but I'm experimenting and seeing if somebody would buy something like a like a miniature human figure uh, made out of tin foil. It's a really cool looking concept, and this one is all silver. It's kind of really nice looking. So that's another thing you you can try. You have to try different things and see what happens and if there is demand or not. Some things do sell, some things don't sell, and they have like a variety of things on it. Here is one more. It's a pretty cool item. And you know what this is? It's kind of like a little thing that has a message to it. And what's the selling point of it is the magnet. So when you put this on your refrigerator, people are like, oh wow, this thing is kind of cool. So they would buy it for the message written on it and you can easily uh, like handwrite some kind of a message and then post a magnet right behind it and or some drawing or something interesting on a magnet and people do buy them because it's handmade, because it's cool looking. Okay. Here is a few more cool items that you can sell on Etsy. Check this out. Check this vase that I got. And I got this at a flea market. It's pretty cool looking. So why would somebody buy this? They would buy this because it's unique, it's different, and it's vintage. And because it's vintage, maybe somebody likes it in a flat house, just putting it over there as a decoration. So that's one of the things that does sell on Etsy. Unusual, weird, and interesting looking items. When talking about weird here, I have the weirdest and the most unique looking item you will ever see. Yes. So, this is kind of like a cast uh, looking item. Some kind of a metal, which I suspect to be bronze. And what makes it a selling point is like a hunter or somebody who really likes those kind of items would love to have this as a trophy in his place. And the good thing about it is it's environmentally friendly. It's vintage um, from the probably, I think, 1990s or the 1980s. 
and the good thing about this is that it's not really made out of any 